Hi, I am AJ Davis, and I currently serve with CSM as a neighborhood lead for the Wheeler and Westside neighborhoods here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And I was asked to just briefly share about prominent folks who have influenced me. And there have been so many people. I mean, I could talk about, you know, of course, LeBron James and his impact that he's had um, on and off the court. Um, or even prominent coaches like Mike Tomlin. Um, and there are even several. I mean, I think about my my, my mom, um, who has definitely had such a tremendous impact on my life. But I think here as of late, two figures that have had extreme significance on my life um, have been this guy, Esau McCauley, um, who wrote this book, Reading While Black, which has been so instrumental uh, in terms of my just spiritual formation and development. And then also, too, uh, a lady that was featured in this work right here. Her name was Sister Kelly. She was a slave and she um, ended up becoming free and settled in Nashville. And one of the things that she had to say, she said, what is written of trouble on the heart is written in his blood and nobody can take the glory of his name away from you. And right, like I think, you know what I'm saying, as I've just navigated life as of late with all the racial turmoil that plagues this country, that quote has really stuck with me. Um, and Dr. McCauley's book has really helped me um, and has been really influential in terms of just my spiritual formation um, because it really has pointed me back to, to Jesus and who he is. And these are two really sort of extreme ends of the spectrum. Uh, we have, you know, this free slave woman and we have this brother who has received his PhD. Um, and yet both of them have found ways in different unique ways to point me to, to, to who Jesus is and to strengthen my relationship with him. And so when I think about uh, influential uh, black folks who have had an impact on my life as of late, Sister Kelly and Esau McCauley are certainly two that come to mind.